the head injuries ward at the Kenton Canterbury Hospital. Today's lunches, prepared by an external catering firm, arrive frozen and are heated to order. At first, it looked like a recipe for controversy, with some patients complaining that the old system, fresh food cooked on site, delivered more nutritious meals. There's nothing wrong with frozen food. Uh, frozen food, chilled food, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it in itself. And there are other benefits to this system. Because the meals are frozen and cooked to order, there's a big choice, 24 dishes on the lunch menu. They're heated on individual wards, so they arrive hot and on time. And the system now in place here, and at the William Harvey in Ashford, and the QEQM at Margate, means nurses can spend less time on catering duties. We've introduced a new ward housekeeping role, um, which is designed at making sure patients get uh, the meals that uh, are appropriate for them in terms of nutritional content and, and size and presentation. Well, this is a lamb rogan josh, one of 24 choices on today's lunch menu at the Kenton Canterbury. Let's give it a taste. I can tell you it tastes very good indeed. Um, uh, Vicky, um, it's passed the taste test with me. More importantly, it's passed the taste test with them. Um, all of the patients we've spoken to, yes. does it pass the nutrition test because people think of meals like this being high in salt, sugar, fat? Absolutely it passes the nutrition test. It meets all the national guidelines for hospital food. Uh, we've, as you said, we've taste tested it. The most important thing to us is that the patients eat the food and enjoy the food that they're having. I had fish mornay um, um, jam sponge and very nice it was too. I had a cauliflower and broccoli bake with sort of cheese sauce on it and new potatoes with mint on and it was very nice. This new approach to feeding hospital patients in East Kent a million meals a year is set to spread to other southeast hospitals. 94 percent of patients surveyed here say they like the food. One even asked if their stay could be extended so they could go through the menu. John Ryle, ITV News, Canterbury.